Hello, welcome to something different. You may have seen that Victoria is considering rent caps and taxes on Airbnb owners to help ease the rental crisis, much to the disappointment of landlords and the REIV. So let's chat about it. You'll probably not be very surprised to hear that the government has historically been opposed to this idea with the Deputy Chair of the Legislative Council Legal and Social Issues Committee voting down a motion to inquire into the rental crisis and describing rent caps as short-term solutions. However, more recently, the government is shifting its view. Recently voting unanimously at the state conference to make housing a human right which is pretty dumb because it already is but the sentiment's there at least anyways now that all the boring context stuff is out of the way let's dive a little bit more into detail why are rents rising ultimately it's because the landlords are increasing them it's pretty simple but according to the abs rent increases have also become more common and larger on average landlords are saying that they're increasing the rent in response to their interest rates also being increased by the rba in order to curb inflation there are two interesting aspects to this statement number one interest rates have trended down for the entire recorded history history of the cash rate 32 years from 1990 to 2022 however rents still went up so something's fucky there. Number two, housing is the highest weighted group when it comes to measuring inflation. So ultimately at the moment, what we have is a cycle of interest rates going up to curb inflation, which is caused by corporate greed, which results in landlords passing on these rate rises to renters, which further increases inflation. It's a good system, isn't it? So why are rents actually going up when it's not just due to inflation? Rents are going up because landlords are capitalizing on low supply and high demand. The national vacancy rate is currently 0.9% which means there's not many properties being listed for rent and lots of people wanting to rent. For reference, 30% of the population of Australia are renters. The only problem with this statistic, however, is that it's not correct. The most recent data that we have on the actual vacancy rate comes from the census. On census night, there were 1,044,000 vacant homes. That's 10% of all homes in Australia and enough to provide just under nine homes for every single person experiencing homelessness. So what can we do about it? Well, in the ACT, there are already rent caps in place. A landlord is not allowed to increase rent by more than 10% of CPI, which is a great start, but is there more that we can do? Well, yes, there is. And the government has done so in the past, just not for housing. Let's compare the rental situation with something that's not a human right gas. In 2022, gas companies were price gouging, raising the price of gas by exorbitant amounts. So what did the government do? That's right, price caps. The government does have form with respect to capping prices, but it gets more interesting than that. In response to these price caps, gas companies did a similar thing to what we're seeing in the rental market. They reduced the availability of their product. They stopped producing gas until supply was so low and demand so high that the Australian energy market operator had to literally pay them to provide gas. Does that sound similar yet? The ability to supply gas was always there, but the people profiting from it decided not to supply it in order to artificially reduce supply. So what did the government do? The government effectively said, fuck you, produce gas, and we're not gonna pay you extra for it, which is funny because that's something I do for free. Now, keeping in mind that gas is not a human right, but housing is, what's stopping the government from telling landlords fuck you supply housing just three little things number one gas companies donate less to labor than they do to other parties number two property developers are among the biggest political donors in australia and number three the government needs renters to be the ones bearing the brunt of inflation how fucked is that the government is super keen to say that the only option the reserve bank has to reduce inflation is interest rates but that's not exactly true is it the government could curb the profits of corporations that are driving inflation but those corporations are also their donors wouldn't want to upset them, would we? The federal government is ultimately sitting pretty with the fact that, hey, someone has to bear the brunt of inflation and we don't want it to be us because between the 227 of us, we own 510 properties. 